Hey, this is Christian, uh, a.k.a. Nomas Films. And I just wanted to give you a, a real quick video about uh, the uh, pan and tilt and tracking for my robot lamp. So this is a um, prototype board stuck on top of my Arduino. It's got one whole component in it right now. It's a 1N4005 diode. And it's set on a tripod along with a uh, pan and tilt, which is uh, two, just two regular servos that it's driving and uh, an aluminum bracket. You don't have to get that fancy. So it uses a cheap webcam, which you see up top. This is the face of the unit. And it's tracking me as I'm filming it because I've selected a tracking point on the lens of the uh, video camera. So uh, it works pretty well. So, so this is uh, all using the amazing work that Grog has done on uh, myrobotlab.org. And uh, it just for a person such as myself that has almost no programming background to be able to do this almost immediately is pretty much amazing. And uh, he's allowed this to happen. And uh, things just keep getting better over there. So I'm building or trying to build anyway an InMove uh, Android robot. And uh, it also uses or can use My Robot Lab. So here I am opening up My Robot Lab. I double click the batch file. A second later, the My Robot Lab is booted up. And there it is. So now I'm going to use a Python script, which I've cut and pasted from uh, files on myrobotlab.org uh, through uh, the wonderful work of Alessandrino, who has posted two tutorials about this. And I copy it. I go over to My Robot Lab, and one of the services is Python. Python is a programming language, and I'm going to paste that little bit of Python script there into the Python section, then go up and execute it with the execute button. And that's it right there. And what it's going to do is open up all the correct surfaces for me to use uh, this tracking through my Arduino. So there you have it. It opened up services on the top, which I'll show you in just a second. And there's the different tabs for the different services. So now I need to make a couple of uh, different uh, adjustments to values to uh, aid my particular tracking setup, which is uh, I'm going to adjust the XPID. And uh, here you can see the uh, three different values. The KP I'm leaving as it is at 10, the KI I'm going to 0, and the KD is 0.25, and I'm using the set button. Then I go up and do the same thing with the uh, YPID. Once again, zero, once again, 2.5, and set. And there you go. Now those values are set up. And now I can go up and um, use the OpenCV tab, which is the service for the um, uh, camera uh, video in. And um, I'm going to uh, just make a couple of quick adjustments there. But most importantly, I'm going to click on the screen. And there you have it. It is now panning wherever I click on the screen and I'm going to select a tracking point. Now that's on the floor there and there's a calculator and an egg timer and a couple other things. In just a second I'm going to give you a, a sample of how this actually works. But to double click on that or anywhere else creates a tracking point. There you go. Now in this example I've uh, created a tracking point on the 60 minute egg timer. As you can see it pays no attention to the calculator because the tracking points on the end, uh, egg timer. Nothing on either mouse but it perfectly tracks the egg timer. And uh, it is pretty amazing. This is one of uh, the many uh, types of services that will be used in the InMove Android. Here you can uh, also see me tracking me. I've selected a point on my glasses. It likes uh, sharp edges for this type of tracking. It's not a face tracking right now. It's actually tracking the sharp edge on my glasses. And I'm just going to um, mosey around the room here. Uh, just a second, I'll be standing in front of my uh, 3D printer. There you go. Now I'm going to walk back across the room, and uh, it really does track these sharp edges as well. And lastly, I'm going to lean down over my uh, couch where my wonderful cat is currently sleeping. Uh, there she is. She last night bit through all the wires on my uh, servo uh, wires coming out of my uh, tracker. So I had to repair them before I could make this video. That's it. Thank you very much.